Good morning, I'm Belle, welcome back to my channel. I do Slimming World and today is gonna to be a what I eat in a day video following Slimming World's extra easy plan. So I need to have a really good week um, and I'm gonna try and do one of these every day. Um, I, yeah, I just need to have a good last next week and get rid of this holiday gain. So I'm starting the day with a glass of water that I put some lemon juice in. So I'm gonna drink that first. Then I'm gonna have a Kenko caramel coffee, which these are just caramel, um, Coffee granules, I've added um, semi-skim milk out of my healthy A allowance, and then I've got a couple of satsumas, and I will show you in a second what I'm going to take to work for my breakfast later. So this is what I'm taking to work for my breakfast later. Um, I've got a coconut quark, which is half a sin. I got this from Asta. Um, in here, I've just got a fruit salad, so it's got a pink lady apple, a uh, satsuma and two plums and I'm going to chuck some cinnamon over the top of that as well um, and then I have got 25 grams of all bran which is half my healthy B you get 50 grams of all bran so it's quite a big portion um, so there's just 25 grams there and I'll use the other half for a hi-fi later Hi, so it's seven o'clock, I'm just in from work. I went out again at lunchtime and had another jacket potato. Um, so I will insert a photo of that at some stage. Um, I sat there whilst my friend ate the most amazing looking cauliflower cheese with tons of melted cheese on the top of it. Um, and I just sat there with my jacket potato, uh, trying to be good. And then I went back to work and there was a massive chocolate cake, which again, I turned down. I don't know about anyone else, comment below, let me know if it's just me or if it's you too, but I am finding this cold and all the Christmas food in the shops a real challenge at the moment and every day is a bit of a struggle, but um, I'm just trying to fill up on Slimming World friendly meals and hoping that that kind of keeps me on track. Anyway, for dinner, I'm gonna do some kind of a tray bake situation. So I've got some chicken thighs here that need eating, which are obviously, um, skinless and boneless. Um, I've got some frozen peppers here. I've got some frozen butternut squash here. Um, I've got some smoked paprika and um, some garlic and I've got some JD seasoning chip and wedge spice. Um, and I've got some tomatoes and red onions. And I think I'm just gonna chuck the um, chicken and butternut squash um, in the oven with some fry light and the seasoning let that um, cook for a bit and then add the onions, peppers and tomatoes in 25 minutes or so, something like that. And um, just let it all cook in the oven until it's cooked. But I will show you what it looks like on the plate. So the light is absolutely terrible, but this is the chicken and butternut squash with garlic, smoked paprika and JD seasoning chip and wedge spice. Um, and I'm gonna pop it in the oven initially for about 25 minutes before I put the other ingredients into. So the chicken and the butternut squash have been cooking for about 25 minutes and I, maybe half an hour, um, and I've now just given it a bit of a stir, added the red onions, peppers, tomatoes, uh, and a bit more seasoning, and I'm just gonna put it back in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, something like that, um, until the chicken and everything is properly cooked through. So this is it all cooked straight out the oven. It smells amazing. It actually cooked for about an hour or just over an hour in the end, but that was mainly because I was just doing other things. Um, I think I probably put the butternut squash in too early. I think um, another time I'd probably put the chicken in first and then put the butternut squash and other veggies in a bit later. Um, but yeah, it smells amazing. And um, I will show you what it looks like on the plate. So this is dinner, super, super steamy, so sorry about that. Um, but I've just done a little bit of pasta, so I've got some whole wheat pasta or whole grain pasta, or whatever it's called, with a little bit of white pasta. Then I have just put tons of spinach um, on the bottom of the bowl. Um, and then I've just added, obviously, the chicken and uh, veggie tray bake, which is really garlicky and paprika -y and smells lovely. Um, and then I've ju just got a glass of water. This is obviously all sin free. The um, chicken and pasta is a free food and then the spinach, peppers, onions, tomatoes and butternut squash um, are all speed foods. So this is this evening's dinner. 
So dinner was delicious, really enjoyed the chicken um, and it was so easy, buying uh, frozen chopped veg is just the way forward I think midweek. Um, anyway, for supper tonight I am having a salted caramel hot chocolate um, which I have made up with water and then I've added a little bit of semi skimmed milk from my Healthy A. Um, the salted caramel options hot chocolate sachet is one and a half sins. Um, and then I have weighed out 12 grams of mini um, marshmallows, um, which is two sins. So I've got three and a half sins here for my hot chocolate. Um, and I had half a sin for my quark breakfast. So I'm finishing today on four sins. So thank you so, so much for watching. Um, as always, do check the SIN app or calculator for anything that I've mentioned today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really do appreciate your support and I will see you next time in my next video. Take care, bye.